Hi, this is Katherine Reynolds Lewis. It's the day before Mother's Day and I wanted to share a few things that have been on my mind. The coronavirus pandemic has wrested control from all of us, hundreds of millions of people. We're forced to stay in our homes with little say over our daily lives or when we can even emerge. It's perfectly natural to want to intensely control the few things remaining in our purview. And for parents, this can mean our children. Be careful of this impulse. We're all reeling. We're dealing with waves of different emotions. When your child refuses to log into online school or complete their worksheet, it's understandable to feel the heat rising in your chest. This is one more thing that you can't make go your way. If your kids start squabbling for the 10th time in the morning, it's natural to wanna to charge in there and separate them. But if you respond with anger, punishment, or threats, you'll activate your child's fight or flight response. They'll no, no longer be able to make good choices by using their prefrontal cortex. Instead, they're in the amygdala of the brain, that fear center. The situation will quickly spiral into whining or yelling or defiance as their intensity triggers your own fight or flight response. Instead, accept that we're all doing the best we can. Find healthy ways to regulate your own emotions and moods. At a calm time, brainstorm a dozen ideas that work for you. Dancing to your favorite music, cuddling a pet, doing 15 jumping jacks, taking five box breaths, whatever works for you. Then in the moment of conflict with your kids, you can pull one of these from your toolbox. You'll be showing them a better way to respond to stress than yelling or imposing your will. And ironically, by giving up control, we can show our kids the path to self-control. Thank you so much for watching my first experiment in uh, Facebook Live. Really happy that you tuned in.